Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice system of equations? We have AB equals minus 48 and we have A plus B equals 2. So in the first equation here, we're having negative and this equation seems like two things. Like, are we getting complex number or we are getting the real number? Let's see how we can solve this because we need the solution to A and B that will be equals to 2 and AB equals 40 minus 48. So we start with solution. Here, when we consider from equation 2, which says A plus B equals 2. And let's make B the subject of the formula. We transfer A to the right hand side as we have B equals 2 minus A. And this is our new equation, which is equation 3. Then let's substitute it into equation 1. Then we have equation 1 as AB equals minus 48. And by replacing B with 2 minus A, and we substitute it in this new uh, in this first equation. We have a bracket two minus a equals minus forty eight. Let's open this parenthesis with a, as we have a times two. We have two a minus a times a. That is a squared equals minus 48. Let's rearrange this. By rearranging this, we have minus a square. This is normal rearrangement. The sign will not change. And here is plus 2a equals minus 48. Then, by multiplying negative throughout, negative times this, we have my plus a squared and a is minus 2a equals here becomes 48 when negative multiply throughout then let's add one to both sides by adding one to both sides we have a squared minus 2a plus 1 equals 48 plus 1 then from this left hand side, we have a squared minus 2a plus, if 1 is just like 1 squared, and 1 squared is still 1, equals 48 plus 1, that gives us 49. And I want to apply one identity here. Suppose this one is also written as a squared minus 2 times 1 times a plus 1 squared equals 49. If I relate this with x squared minus 2xy plus y squared, this is given as x minus y all squared. And if our x here is a and our y here is 1, we are going to replace it so that we have something of x minus y all squared. As this one becomes a minus 1 all squared equals 49. Then, let's take the square root of both sides. By squaring both sides, we have a minus 1 equals this becomes plus or minus when we take the square root of this size and here is 49 in the next step we have we have a minus 1 equals plus or minus square root of 49 is a perfect squared which is 7 and then let's take one to this to other side which is the right hand side to get the value of a 
here we have a equals when one comes here we have plus one plus or minus seven then here it attracts positives and negative therefore we are going to conclude that our a1 here is giving us 1 plus 7 as 1 plus 7 gives us 8 and also we have our a2 a2 here goes with negative which is 1 minus 7 and we subtract this together we have minus 6 we have two values of a which means we must also have two values of b and let's recall from where we let if you recall from we have b equals 2 minus a and for a equals 8 which is our a1 therefore we are going to have b equals 2 minus a1 then by replacing this we are going to have b equals 2 minus 8 and this gives us minus 6 and again when our a2 here equals minus 6 we try and replace it as we have b equals 2 minus a2 and 2 minus a2 our a2 is minus 6 by changing it, we have b equals 2 minus, open bracket, minus 6. As we have negative, negative here, when they multiply each other, it gives us positive. Therefore, we have b equals 2 plus 6, which is equals 8. And when we try and pair this together, we have a1 comma b1 so this equals 8 comma minus 6 and also we have a2 comma b2 this gives us minus 6 comma 8 here are the two values of a and b that we got here and we can try and verify for these two equations, these two values that we got, if they satisfy the given equations. So by substituting the first one in this equation, we have let's say a is 6, a is 8, multiplied by b is minus 6. So this gives us minus 48, that is correct. And also, if you have minus 8 comma 6 as well so this gives us minus 48 and again for the sum which is equation 2 we are going to have 8 minus 6 that is 2 is correct and also we have minus 6 plus 8 that is 2 all these are correct for both values of a and uh, B for A1, B1 and A2, B2. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.